All right, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can display modals uh, based on interactions. So if we have buttons, if we have drop down menus, if we use a slash command, it can display a modal based on such behavior. So what exactly is a modal? Well, modals are pretty much just pop up pop ups and they can pretty much do a lot of different things. Right. You can, can usually like in web applications, they typically can contain forms. Uh, you can enter in like your username, password, email address, that type of data. You can also display important information to the user. Um, and usually those are like the main two things that people use them for. But there's a lot of different things that you can use it. You can also uh, use it to confirm that the user had done something. Let's say if they're purchasing a product from your website, you can display modal to let the user know that you've successfully purchased a product, right? They're pretty cool interactions. And let's go ahead and see how we can work with them. So let's go over to our code. And what I'll do is this. Uh, I'll go ahead and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and create a new command. So I'll go into my commands folder. I'll create a new file. I'll call it register.js. And I'm going to just copy and paste some code. I'll copy and paste the channel.js file. And I'm just going to delete everything else except for set name and set description. So all these other things can be deleted. And I'll just change the name of this command to register command. Change that over here too. And I'll just call this register. And we'll just pretend like this is a command for the user to register themselves onto the server. So we'll just say register a user to the server officially. All right. And let's go ahead and import this into our main file. All right, cool. So what we'll do is, uh, well, let's also not forget to add this to the array of commands. So that way it gets actually registered. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the command name is register. So inside the, uh, the block, the if condition. So if interaction dot is chat input command, if this is true inside this block over here, after this, if interaction dot command name equals 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 order, we're going to write an else if because we're checking to see if the command name is a different command name. We're going to check to see if it's register. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, first let's just write a console log. Let's just say hello world register just to make sure that this command works. So let's go into our PowerShell. Let's run. Here, let me start dev. All right, cool. So let's go into our server. Whoops. All right, so let's do slash register. And we should see a log in the console. Perfect. So our slash command works. So let's go ahead and actually uh, send back a modal. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so in order to actually create the modal, we're going to use the modal builder class. So I'll go ahead and import that uh, from discord.js, not discord.js builders, discord.js. I'll actually find out later uh, if these two classes are actually the same, but they pretty much work. So I don't really think there's any problems. I think they may have just... Imp I think they may have just combined the builders with the Discord.js package. I'm not sure though, but we'll just import it from Discord.js since that's what we've been doing. Uh, and we haven't had any issues so far. So let's do that. And now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and I'll set the title of this modal. So we'll do title and we'll just do register user form. Set custom ID. We'll just set this to register user uh, modal and then now what we need to do for this modal is we need to go ahead and set the components so we'll call these set components property or method sorry uh, and then we'll go ahead and we need to add some components to this modal right so we can either add uh, well first we need to make sure we add the action role builder okay because remember uh, anything like text inputs if we want buttons, if we want drop down menus, um, they all need to be inside an action row. So buttons, select menus, and text inputs. 
they need to be inside an action row. Okay. Now I do wonder if it's possible to actually just display a modal with just text and nothing else. Uh, like no select menu, no, like just nothing, just like, you know, just the modal stuff. I think it's possible. We'll, we'll figure this out later, but for now, let's just go ahead and, uh, add a new action role builder instance. And we already have the imported up top over here because we've used them before. Okay. And we'll go ahead and set the component of this action rule builder. And inside here, we can go ahead and add the, well, we'll do the text input builder because we haven't used that one yet. So let's do text input builder. And it makes sense to add a text input builder because we're trying to get the user to enter something. So this will import this from not Discord JS builders. We'll import this from the Discord JS library itself. Okay. And so now what we'll do for uh, text input builder is we'll go ahead and call set label and I'll set the label to, it's similar to if you've worked with HTML forms before. So I'll set the label for this to be, uh, let's just call this username. And then we'll also set the custom ID to be username as well. And then we'll also set the style and the style can either be uh, one or two, one, one of two styles. It can either be uh, a short or it could be a paragraph. Okay. And so we'll actually use the text input style enum. So let me do text input style. And this is imported from discord.js. And you can see that we either have paragraph or short. And I'll go ahead and show you both. So let's do short first. And then once, uh, so we're done with the modal now. And all we have to do is just call interaction dot show modal and pass in the modal like that and let's go into uh our discord so our bot has re-logged in again let's do slash slash register and you're gonna see that shows a modal and now this uh this thing by default is going to show right this for this uh this message over here by default will show i don't know if there's a way to disable it though but for now, we'll just ignore it. But now you can go ahead and enter whatever you want and just click submit. And of course, we have to make sure we handle it ourselves. Now, I'll show you how to handle modals in a separate video. Uh, for now, I just want to show you how we can actually display the modal, obviously. Because obviously, right now, we're not able to do anything with the response of the modal, which is very important. I'll show you that in the next video. But let's go ahead and just play around with our modal just a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to add a couple more stuff to our modal. So, cause right now we don't really have much, right? We might want to add more texts. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add another text. Let's do username, email. And let's go ahead and do short. Let's wait for bots to re-log in. And it's hopefully this works. Uh, we might have gotten an issue. Uh, let's see, invalid form body. I think we might not be able to add two text builders at the same time. I think we actually, okay. So I think in terms of uh, the actual, uh, let me see in terms of action rows, I think action rows, let's see, I think action rule can only contain, let me see. I think you can only have one text input in an action row, but I wonder if it says anything about the right over here. Uh, an action row can only contain one select menu. It doesn't say anything about text men text inputs though, but I assume that since it's giving us an error, it can only contain one text input. Uh, so let's go ahead and instead of putting two text input builders, uh, we'll go ahead and add another action row. Okay, because we can have multiple action rows. Okay, um, let me see. I think I'm doing that correctly over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so set components to action rules. Let's do email, email, and we'll wait for the bot to finish relogging in. All right. So let's go ahead and try this out. So slash register, and you can see, there we go. Perfect. We have the user and email. So yeah, so it seems like I was correct that you cannot have a multiple text inputs in uh, a single action role. So we have to create another action row, but that's fine. So you can see right over here that we now have a simple form. We have username and email, and this could be great if you want to collect input from the user. Let's add one more. 
because we've only done uh, short text input styles. Let's go ahead and add one more. And let's do one for a paragraph. So let's do comment instead of email. So let's just call it comment. And instead of the style for short, we'll do paragraph. And that's just going to allow the user... Uh, I think it will be a bigger form value, I think. Okay, let's see. Let's just wait. It takes forever to log in. Perfect. All right, so let's try this again. Let's go ahead and do slash register. And there you go. You can see that we have now we have a username, email, and comment. So you can literally do use this to create interactive forms. And if I try to submit this, it's going to throw an error. Right? It validates it, which is great. So this is a new way to perform certain things. Like off the top of my head, I would think that, you know what, a good idea that you can use this for is to submit like a report on a user. You can use this to submit like a ban appeal, all types of stuff. You can be creative. So in the next episode, I'll show you how to handle uh, modal submissions. So uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my other videos on my channel. Uh, definitely subscribe and if you need other if you need additional help with creating discord bots i have a discord server the link is in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you all in my next episode peace out